exciting to say to you today, this is the best day of your life. And you may think, oh, Marilyn, give me a break. Do you know I have all these problems? I don't know all of your problems. And I don't think you know all of mine. But I can tell you this, when you have Jesus, you have a supernatural life. So I want to tell you today, you need to tune in, key in, connect. I mean it, seriously, with your supernatural life. Why? Because Jesus said he came to give you life, and that's here, and life more abundantly. Of course I have eternal life, but I can tell you, Jesus gives you miracles every day. Amen. And we have the best guest today. We have Stephen Scott, who wrote the book, Jesus Speaks, but it's really <laughs> a daily devotional so that you can hear his voice every day for that abundant life. Stephen, thank you for being oh, with thanks us. thanks for having it's me back. It's wonderful to have you. And tell us about this. This is your latest. That's the latest. It's yes. brand new. And um, what it does, I, I, I realized as I've worked with Christian leaders and pastors that Jesus made all these promises about His words. And for example, He said, if you abide in My word, you'll be My true disciple. You'll know the truth. The truth will set you free. And uh, yet today, very few people abide in the words of Christ. They don't know what Jesus said. Jesus made over 1,900 statements that are recorded in the New Testament. And I can't find people that know a hundred of them. He gave us 150 life-giving, empowering, miracle-producing commands. Most people can't name 10 of those. He gave us 108 conditional promises where He said, if you do this, I'll do that. Most people don't know 10 of them. People today, even in Bible preaching churches, do not know what Jesus said. And yet Jesus made 21 miraculous promises about His spoken words. And so what this is, is this is a three minute a day devotion that gets people into the practice of abiding in His words. Uh, every day starts out with a red lettered statement. For example, uh, let's take January 1 because that, that was a, that's one that everybody loves. Uh, it's the, the headline is, Come into the Moment. And the statement is, Do you not say there are yet four months and then come the harvest? I tell you, look up, behold, the fields are white unto harvest. And then there's a message written in the voice of Christ that is all about living in the present and the importance of that because most people spend most of their time either living in the future or the past. Ten minutes from now I wonder what's for lunch. Uh, ten <laughs> minutes ago I can't believe that person said that <laughs> to me. And what happens, they miss the miracles of the moment. God doesn't dwell in the future and He doesn't dwell in the past. He dwells in the moment. So if we're not in the moment, we miss experiencing God. All fear, stress, and worry comes when we're focused on the future. All resentment, bitterness, uh, anger, disappointment, True. discouragement comes when we focus on That's the past. Right. But God's presence and all miracles happen in the moment. So th just this very first January 1st, it, it shows from Christ's perspective how to get in the moment. But each, <clears throat> each day starts with a headline. Then there's a red lettered verse. It's printed in red. That's a statement of Christ. Then the message springboards off of that statement. Then there's a second verse, a red lettered statement. And so when a person goes through this, in one year they are reading and meditating on over 700 statements of Christ. And then at the bottom of each page is a reference to greatest words ever spoken where they can look up that day's topic and see everything Jesus said on that topic so they can really begin to immerse their heart and mind in the words of Christ. And when they do, they get to know the heart and the mind of the Father. And Jesus promised that if we will do that, that we'll go from this type of, of knowing about Him to moving into true intimacy with Him. And Gary Smalley, that's what he experienced. Gary uh, is in a situation where he, he, uh, he was kind of discouraged. He went through a major heart surgery. And um, it's, it's really changed what he can and cannot do. And so um, I gave him the manuscript before the book was printed on May 30th. And on 
May 31st, he texts me and he says, this book is changing my life. And it's only been one day. Then he, Stop right here. Okay. There are people out there that are saying, I need something to change my life. But folks, do you realize three minutes a day yep. could change your life? My, my, how on earth? I, I know some of you are thinking, well, I, I want to hear the end of this story, but I want to be sure you get into the story. And that's so key because some of you are so down, you do resent, mm -hmm. you do have fear for the future, but three minutes a day. And you can call in and leave your prayer request, but I don't want them just to get this daily right. devotional. I want them to get the greatest words ever spoken by right. Jesus because this is how we build our house on the rock. So get them both. I mean, leave your prayer request and get them both. Okay, so Gary, so he May 30th, he read, Cheer up. In the world <laughs> you will have tri tribulation, but be a go of good cheer. I've overcome the world. And he gets to this part where he says, um, uh, Until I establish my kingdom on earth, there will never be a time without tribulation. But child, you don't have to fear like those who don't know me. Your circumstances, no matter how bad they may become, and Gary's were bad, do not need to affect your joy or peace. Realize that your life on earth is only a moment of the eternity that lies ahead. Rejoice daily that your relationship with me is eternal and more secure than the world itself. Rejoice that I've overcome the world and death itself. And because you are my sheep, the world and death have no power to separate you from my Father and our love. Don't focus on the past, which Gary was doing, or the future, which he was doing, but live in the moment with me. I love you far more than you love yourself. And that changed the way Gary looked at that day. The next day he read, humble yourself and let God exalt you. And he's in a place of humility right now because he's dependent. He can't drive and everything because yeah. of the surgery. And, uh, and this, the, the day after he read that one, he says, Steve, this book, and he, he just said, how did you come up with the days? And I said, I didn't. I just did day one through 365. And then later the, the dates were put in. But this friend of mine, Marilyn, gives this out to people and, uh, and says, you know, Jesus may have a birthday present for you. Oh. And, and so let's look up your birthday. It's not a horoscope, but sometimes he has a very special message right. for your birthday. Now, do we have time for me to tell this little story right now, or should well, we do it after the break? No, but let's just take a moment. Okay. Because I want you to look at Sarah's okay. birthday. She couldn't be with us today, but would you mind doing that? Yeah, what, what's it's the date? It's January the 4th. Okay, January the 4th. Because I think this would be so sweet to you. And, you know. Love my father and me the way we want to be loved. And here's the verse. Those who accept my commandments and obey them are the ones who love me. And because they love me, my father will love them and I will love them and reveal myself to each of them. All who love me will do what I say. My Father will love them, and we will come to them and make our home with them. And then, of course, there's the, so that's what that day's about. Does that ring true for her? Well, it totally rings true. Since she was a little girl, she would say to me, you know, I want to know Jesus for myself. You know, people mm. would say, are you going to be a teacher like your mother? She said, no, I'm going to be myself. Amen. And she always wanted that relationship. So that's real sweet to me. Now listen, sometimes we want to give a gift to people that will really be a blessing. But a lot of people, you give them something spiritual, they just kind of put it on the coffee table or, you know, they forget it. But if you say, you need to see what Jesus says to you on your birthday, you know, this is a birthday present for you. It will be transformational, but it'll not only help your birthday, it'll help you every day. Yeah. So they're going to think, oh, you care about my birthday and they're going to read it. And so to me, this is a good hook. And then, of course, if you get both of these, the greatest words ever spoken, because they might not get into this, first of all. No, people tend this, they start in this, and before right. they know it, they want to see what else Jesus exactly. said on that same subject. So then they dive into that. So you need to get both. And of course, you need to call in prayer requests. What are some names of people that you'd like to give this to? 
and let us pray and kind of undergird you in a special way. So, Stephen, I think the combination mm -hmm. that you have is a real dynamite con combination. It is, because in three minutes, you start to see the heart and mind of Christ. Yeah. And, and it is so encouraging. You will fall in love with Christ and the Father. In fact, Charles Stanley, in his statement on this, I love this statement he made. He said, um, it's a very long statement, and he's, he read it cover to cover before he would endorse it. And I love Charles Stanley. Yeah. He said, I'm certain readers will be blessed and challenged and will grow in their intimate relationship with the Father as they focus on Jesus' words daily through, G, through uh, Mr. Scott's encouraging writing. Now, what's so wonderful is as you come to know the mind and heart of Christ, you'll see over and over again that He's talking about the Father because He came to glorify the Father. Yeah. You're going to see the Father as He really is and without even trying, you're going to fall so in love with Him. There's nobody like our Heavenly Father and there's nobody like the Lord Jesus Christ. And this was written to give people a way, a gateway, an easy gateway into intimacy with the Father and our dear Savior, the Lord Jesus Christ. That's really transformational. But actually, I need everyday Amen. transformation. Amen. And that's why I like this so much. Now, I want you to stay right there because we're getting into the best. I don't want you to miss the best. I'm going to ask Stephen also to look up my birthday. So I'm being real selfish. So stay right there because remember, Jesus loves you. If you'd been the only one on earth, the Father would have sent Jesus for you. He calls you His beloved over 42 times in the New Testament. When Jesus walked this earth, He gave His followers more than 100 life-changing promises. He also gave more than 100 teachings for living in line with God's priorities, commands that lift us up rather than weigh us down. Best-selling author Stephen Scott has compiled these promises in his latest book, Jesus Speaks. For your gift of $30 or more, we will send you this 365-day devotional, which invites you to let Jesus speak directly into your life. Each reading begins with a red-lettered statement of Jesus directly from Scripture followed by a powerful reflection on how He wants us to apply His truths to our daily lives. We will also send you His book, The Greatest Words Ever Spoken. In this special red letter edition, all the statements of Jesus have been brought together under more than 200 practical, easy to find topics. And Marilyn and Sarah especially want you to have their life-changing booklet, Speak the Word. This simple, concise book will help you activate the spiritual force of speaking God's Word over every situation of your life. Call or click to get this life-changing resource. We are so excited to invite you on our next group trip. Oh my goodness, it's going to be over the top, thoroughly amazing, and we're going to Portugal and Switzerland. This is a trip opportunity of a lifetime and you don't want to miss it. Mom, tell us some of the things we're doing. Well, we get to have healing meetings in Switzerland. Hey, is that awesome? And there's a lot spiritually going on there, but Portugal is awesome. It's like God is just pouring out His Spirit and we get to go in and add to that outpouring. You must go with us. Bring friends, bring children, bring grandchildren, and let's see God move in Europe in a special way in Switzerland and Portugal through you. And you know, you can get on the phone, get on the website. We want to pray for you. You might be saying, I can't go, time, money, all this stuff. We want to pray for you that God would help you to go and open up all those doors. Come with us to Switzerland and Portugal today. I know something about you. You say, you don't even know me. But I know something about you, that you like miracles. We would be stupid if we didn't like to have the miraculous in our life. Isn't that true? And so today, right now, you're going to see more keys to the miraculous than you've ever seen before. I put my hand on my heart. I truly believe that. And Stephen, you share miracles in here on Jesus Speaks. Yes. His word brings the miraculous. Yeah, yeah if you think about it, uh, when Peter, when the disciples see Jesus walking on water, they're terrified. They think it's oh. a ghost. And Jesus says, be of good courage. It is I. Do not be afraid. And Peter says, Lord, if that's really you, command me to come and I will come. 
He needed the word from Christ, a command that he could place his faith on and become the only man other than Christ ever to walk on water. And he stepped out of the boat once the command came. Because Jesus gave him that one word command, come. And the same happens with us. When we get Jesus' words into our heart and mind, one of the ministries of the Holy Spirit is, He says, He will bring to your remembrance whatsoever things I have said unto you. But if you don't put them in the first place into your mind, He can't bring them to your remembrance. True. So when we begin to meditate on Jesus' words, then the Holy, that activates or enables the Holy Spirit's ministry in that area right. in our life. And uh, something happened that was so cute. This dear friend of mine, he's like a Timothy to me. Um, he gives these out to people. And he says, God may have a special birthday present for you on your birthday. It's not a horoscope, but he may have a birthday message for you. And uh, so he was in his wife's beauty salon, and she was doing the hair of a dear friend of hers. And uh, this lady had had a tragedy happen this past August, August 14th. Uh, she and her husband had come home from their vacation, and they're passing the church, and he's in charge of the lawn. And he sees that it's brown, so she, he says, I'm going to pull over and turn the sprinklers on. So he runs around to the back of the church to turn on the sprinklers, and while he's doing that, a thug, a 21-year-old thug, opens the door of the car, grabs the wife, starts to pull her out of the car. She honks the horn and screams. He shoots her and throws her onto the ground. Oh. And the husband comes running, and right as he gets close, the man pulls up the gun and shoots him twice in the head and kills him instantly. And he falls right down by uh, where the wife is lying. Well, she recovered, and uh, so five months after that, she's in the beauty chair, and DJ, my friend, walks in, and his wife says, Hey, DJ, do you have a copy of Jesus Speaks? And he says, Yes. And he says, Can you show it to Jenny? So he says, well, Jenny, I'm going to show it to you, but look up your birthday, because sometimes the Lord gives a special gift. So she looks up her birthday, which was April 14th, and um, as she reads it, she starts to cry, and then she starts sobbing. And uh, Becky puts her arms around her, and she says, oh, Jenny, I'm so sorry. I didn't know this would upset you. And she said, upset me. No, this is my answer. I've been waiting for months. I didn't know how... You know, how the Lord could let this happen and everything, and this answers it all for me. Well, listen to this. The title is Eliminating All Fear by Fearing God. Listen to the first words of Jesus' statement. Do not be afraid of those who kill the body, oh. but cannot kill the soul. Awesome. Rather than be afraid of the, be afraid of the one who can destroy both soul and body in hell, are not two sparrows sold for a penny, yet not one of them will fall to the ground apart from the will of your Father. And even the very hairs of your head are all numbered, so don't be afraid. You're worth more than many sparrows. And of course, she instantly thought about that her husband falling to the ground, and she realized it wasn't apart from God's will. That mm. as terrible as that sound. Now listen to what, he, what it says in the devotion. Why should you continue to live in worry and fear. You are often anxious about so many things and your life is tormented with stress. And she had been tormented for months over this. Child, it doesn't have to be that way. When you are fearful, it is a sign that you are setting your focus on the temporary things of this life. This world is not your permanent home. Even death should not be feared by my followers. It's simply the doorway to your eternal home. To be free from all fear, you need only to revere God above all else and love Him by obeying my teachings. I want you to know that nothing will come your way except through my Father's loving will. He knows everything about you, and yet He loves you so much that He sent me to save you. Turn your eyes and the focus of your heart away from the temporary things of this world oh, and fix them on me. Fill your heart with my words and my repentance. My peace will replace all your fears. That day she was delivered from this overwhelming torment of fear and stress and realized this world is not our home. For the believer, it's just our temporary dwelling place. And see, you know the truth and the truth sets you free. But what is the truth? It's not always on the newscast. No. The truth is in God's Word. 
and imagine that woman for her birthday. That, that's God. I mean, and you know, just honestly, I'm hooked on Jesus, aren't you? Amen. And I love the way he just ministers to you in a daily way in this because every day takes you three, three minutes, minutes, three minutes, you will see, well, like I just turned to this one. It says, follow me, you know, uh, and let spirituality, the dead, <laughs> bury their dead, uh -huh. you know, because sometimes we're back there burying the dead again. And, you know, that could flow for you today. That could flow for me today. Listen to what Christine Kane said. Oh, please. She said about the book, she said, Jesus' words can replace stress with peace, sadness with joy, confusion with guidance, and fear with faith. That's why Jesus Speaks will not only change your day, but it can change your life, your relationships, and your eternity. I love that. And I'd love for you to call in and just say briefly, because we don't counsel, I need a miracle in my life. I need to be free from stress. Uh, I need healing. I need a new relationship with my husband. Uh, I need God just to create a new beginning for me. I mean, that's, that's key for you. Keep it short. And of course, you know, get this because you can use this every day. And so I want you to really, really, really get involved. And another thing I want, I want you to have the greatest words ever spoken because what are Jesus' words? Do you know them? Do you know how they're categorized? I don't think you do. You might think you know them all. I want to say I know them all, but I don't. So these are special miracle study helps in you for you. And so don't forget to call in today with your prayer requests and get them. Would you mind reading my birthday? Oh, I'd love to read your birthday. <laughs> I want you to hear it because okay. a lot of you, you know me very well. <laughs> and, and one thing that will happen as you read this, you will think of 10 people that you want. My grandchildren, my young grandchildren are reading this and they're getting to know the Lord. It's a simple way. It's so much easier than handing them a Bible and say, read it. Yeah, yeah. Versus saying, let's see what Jesus said. And they read it and, you know, to hear them say, Grandpa, did you know Jesus said? Oh, those are the sweet, neatest words I can sweet, hear. Sweet, sweet. So yours is light or darkness. And this is the condemnation that the light has come into the world and men love darkness rather than light because their deeds are evil. And then he says, I came into a dark world as a great light revealing truth about my Father and His kingdom. And yet the truth I revealed was rejected. Even today most people reject me and my words. How can people be so foolish to reject the truth of my Father's glorious kingdom and His offer of salvation? The answer is that people love darkness rather than light because their deeds are evil. Child, you, Marilyn Hickey, have chosen the light over darkness. Mm. You are following me. I know there are times that you take your eyes off me and yield to self-centeredness. I want you to know that I am your advocate. He's not your judge, Marilyn. He's your lawyer. He's your advocate. And that my blood continually cleanses you from your sin. So you, let's stop right here. Okay. Because let me say this, this really helps me. When the Father looks at me, Hallelujah. He sees me in Jesus. Hallelujah. So all those good things Jesus has. So like for example, you know, the mind of Christ. I'm in Jesus. So I have the mind of Christ. This is transformational. When Jesus walked this earth, He gave His followers more than 100 life-changing promises. He also gave more than 100 teachings for living in line with God's priorities, commands that lift us up rather than weigh us down. Best-selling author Stephen Scott has compiled these promises in his latest book, Jesus Speaks. For your gift of $30 or more, we will send you this 365-day devotional, which invites you to let Jesus speak directly into your life. Each reading begins with a red-lettered statement of Jesus directly from Scripture. 
followed by a powerful reflection on how he wants us to apply his truths to our daily lives. We will also send you his book, The Greatest Words Ever Spoken. In this special red letter edition, all the statements of Jesus have been brought together under more than 200 practical, easy to find topics. And Marilyn and Sarah especially want you to have their life-changing booklet, Speak the Word. This simple, concise book will help you activate the spiritual force of speaking God's Word over every situation of your life. Call or click to get this life-changing resource. God loves you so much. And Jesus and the Holy Spirit, they love you. And so really what you've been hearing is a love message. Sarah and I love you and we appreciate, you know, you partners more than you can ever, ever imagine. But I'm going to ask Stephen Scott just to pray for us all at this time. Would yeah, you do that? Sure. And I know a lot of you are discouraged. You might be heavy laden with, with uh, failures, sin. Uh, you may be discouraged about where you are right now. You may have tremendous fears. Let me just tell you, Jesus has the answer to everything you want. So let's pray. Father, we just thank you for the Lord Jesus Christ. We thank you for his words that answer every question, solve every problem. I pray for our viewers, Father, that you would take your words and drive them into their hearts and minds, that you would deliver them, set them free from anything that causes them fear or worry. Help them to see that their home is in heaven and this is just a temporary dwelling place for a temporary time. Father, we ask these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much oh. for being with us. And, you know, maybe you're watching and you say, I don't know if I have Jesus in my heart. See, I knew about him, but I didn't know you could have him. And I remember the first time I heard the message that you could repent of your sins, invite Jesus to come into your heart, believe that he died for your sins and rose from the dead, and I did it. Oh, my goodness. I was 16, mm. 84 and a half now. Oh, still working, honey, still working. If you need to recommit your life, call us. If you've never done it, what can it hurt? <laughs> it can only be a blessing. And may this day truly be the very best day of your life.